Hey guys, welcome back to Mighty Morphin DJ. I'm DJ, and today I make my best effort to pay tribute to Jason David Frank, aka Tommy Oliver. So, at the time of this recording, uh, November 20th, 2022, uh, I read this morning that Jason David Frank had passed away. Um, I don't want to get into any of the, the speculations and details of uh, what happened, why it happened, you know, you know, talking about uh, things that may or may not have contributed to it in his personal life. I don't want to get into any of that. I just want to take a moment to remember what he gave us as fans uh, over the course of his career. So believe it or not, uh, Tommy was actually not my my absolute favorite Power Ranger. I've always been a big fan of uh, Jason Scott, played by Austin St. John. He's always been my favorite Ranger. But I'd be lying if I said Tommy just wasn't cool. Um, him debuting in the original show with that shield, you know, the Green Dragon shield, and it just it, it added just so much more to the show. And I don't think anybody but JDF could have pulled that character off as well as he did. And... He became a fan favorite, you know, almost immediately. I mean, to this day, almost 30 years later, uh, fans around the world herald him as their absolute favorite ranger. And arguably, he is the single greatest Power Ranger to have ever lived uh, throughout the course of the show. I know that to fans around the world who have had the opportunity to meet him at uh, autograph signings and events and conventions and things of that nature, everybody pretty much across the board said the same thing, that he was just the coolest guy, he was super friendly, super nice. I did go to a Q&A session at uh, GalaxyCon 2019, um, and, uh, you know, I got up and I asked him a question, um, so I did talk to him, more sort of, but I never, I never went, to, you know, the, the lines for his tables were always two miles long, you know, so... And I just didn't have the patience to stand in the line, and I always thought, oh, I'll get another chance later. Um, and now I look back on that with the greatest of regret. Arguably, everybody's favorite version of Tommy is either the Green Ranger or the White Ranger. Um, I love both, don't get me wrong. They're both, you know, Tommy was great in both roles. The writing around it was fantastic during that time period. Um, but I've always been more of a fan of White Ranger Tommy just because of the debut episode of the White Ranger, when he was unveiled and he kind of floated down from the heavens and uh, introduced himself to the rest of, the, you know, or revealed himself to the rest of the team, I always thought that was the coolest thing. And then debuting the Tiger Zord in that same episode, that was really cool. Um, that's always been my favorite, you know, Tommy moment in the show. But my other favorite moment of his was the last episode that the Green Ranger appeared uh, was, you know, he was in that field of reeds, and, uh, or he was, he was in that field, and, uh, he was facing off against, uh, the monster that had just taken the last of his powers with the green crystal, and then the monster leaves to go take care of the rangers, and Goldar shows up to finish off, and he tries to get in Tommy's head, uh, with a slideshow of all the times Tommy fought him off, and it had the opposite effect, and instead, Tommy just leaps up into the air and just punches him in the gut, you know, just pones him, and then just starts going to town on him, unmorphed, just commencing to kick in Goldar's butt. It was the coolest thing, you know, and I had forgotten how cool that was until I went back and rewatched it not too awful long ago. So, and everybody has moments like that. Everybody has favorite moments like that uh, that he gave us that only he could have given us. And... And even though he had more moments, you know, as the Red Zeo Ranger, the Red Turbo Ranger, uh, you know, the Black Dino Thunder Ranger, but his time in Mighty Morphin, the moments he gave us during that time period, from Season 1 all the way to the end of Season 3, I feel like those are the moments that people will remember the most, and remember the most fondly. So anyway, guys, I don't want this to run too awful long, so uh, I'll end it by saying that I look forward to to seeing uh, everyone, you know, pay their tributes and pay homage to JDF on Facebook and uh, on Instagram and YouTube and everywhere else that people will post. Um, 
you know, I hope that uh, everybody who has plans to go to uh, conventions uh, coming up, you know, Ranger Stop and Galaxy Con and uh, every other con that people will go to and cosplay, I hope that everybody uh, in the Ranger fandom will make an effort to pay tribute to JDF in some way, whether it's just wearing a Green Ranger t-shirt or full-on cosplay. Um, you know, I was actually in the middle of making my Green Ranger cosplay uh, when this happened, so, uh, you know, I have plans uh, to do that myself at the next convention I go to. Hope everybody else will uh, join me in doing so. So to Jason David Frank, I say this. You will be remembered in the hearts and minds of Ranger fans across the world, past, present, and future. May your memory never fade, and may the power forever protect you. Yeah. <laughs>